System Board Replacement Unpack the replacement node from its box and remove the anti-static bag. Place the static shield mat in the middle of your work surface. Place the defective node and the replacement node on the mat close to each other. This will allow you to perform each task quickly as some of the steps are time sensitive. Remove the top cover from both nodes and set them nearby. The top cover label should be visible for reference during the following steps. Connect the ground clip on the static shield mat to the nodes and put on the ESD wristband. Remove all front accessible storage components from the defective node and set them on the mat. Remove the drive back plane from the defective node, then install it into the replacement node. Install all front accessible storage components into the replacement node. Remove the air baffles from the defective node and set them aside. Remove the microprocessor 1 heatsink filler from the replacement node. Note, microprocessor 1 is closest to the rear of the system board. Remove the microprocessor 1 heatsink from the defective node and set it on the mat with the grease facing up. Open microprocessor 1's socket release levers and retention latch on both the replacement and defective system boards. Use the CPU installation tool to remove microprocessor 1 from the defective system board, then immediately install it into the same socket on the replacement system board. Close microprocessor 1's socket retention latch and release levers on both the defective and replacement system boards. Install the microprocessor 1 heatsink filler on the defective system board. Install the microprocessor 1 heatsink on the replacement system board. Follow the alternating order diagram on the heatsink label while turning each screw two full turns. Note, push down on the blue touch point located on the heatsink to assist you when turning each screw. If you have a second microprocessor, repeat the steps for microprocessor removal and replacement.
Remove all of the components from the defective node and immediately install them in the same position on the replacement node. Remove each of the memory DIMMs from the defective system board and immediately install them in the same slot on the replacement system board. Remove and install the I.O. expansion adapter. Install the I.O. expansion adapter in the replacement node. Remove and install the I.O. expansion adapter and the SD media adapter. First, remove the I.O. expansion adapter from the defective node and set it on the mat. Loosen the two blue screws on the SD media adapter and remove it from the defective node. Install the SD media adapter in the replacement node. Note, when installing the SD media adapter, be sure to align the hole in the adapter with the cutout on the shelf to ensure proper installation. Tighten the two blue screws until tight. Install the I.O. expansion adapter in the replacement node. Carefully swap the label plates between the replacement node and the defective node. Install the top cover of the defective node onto the replacement node. Install the top cover of the replacement node onto the defective node. Pack the defective node in the replacement node packaging and send the defective node back to the service location.